All right, I got a question for you. When I say hybrid, what auto brand do you think of? Now, I bet you the majority of you thought or said Toyota because they've been so good at making hybrid and Toyota synonymous. There, of course, are other hybrids out there, but they suffer from a lack of awareness. This latest Hyundai Sonata hybrid is trying to change the brand's perception, style and refinement in an economical package. The regular Sonata sedan got a major refresh last year, but the hybrid comes a year later. It still has the same chiseled good looks with an oversized grille, sharper body lines, and in the case of the hybrid, subtle badging. It might be hard to notice, but this car does have slightly different front and rear bumpers and a tweaked grille. Now at the time of recording this segment, the pricing for this 2016 model has not officially been announced. But if we look at the 2015 hybrid, it's $4,500 more than the regular gasoline version at just over $28,000. So with almost $5,000 difference, you have to really crunch the numbers to see if buying this hybrid version makes up the difference in the cost of fuel. Even the base model is very well equipped, including heated front seats, leather wrapped steering wheel, Bluetooth connectivity, USB, push button start, dual zone automatic climate control, and a backup camera. Now this top model with the tech package gets navigation and an upgraded stereo system, leather seats that are heated and heated seats in the back. Now what all Sonatas get is this unique design to the center console that's wide and open. I particularly like all the redundant buttons here. If you want to change from radio to media to phone, what have you, you just push a button. Same thing for the heat. You don't have to go in through a control unit or a touch screen. It's all right there. It's the little things with this latest hybrid that make a difference. Like the battery pack is now hidden under the trunk floor, offering a vast and useful cargo space for families. This car is no longer a sacrifice. One cool new feature is the hands-free trunk release. All you do is stand behind the car. It detects the key fob and the trunk releases automatically. And this is standard on all models. Now this Sonata Hybrid is different than conventional hybrid systems because the power goes from the gasoline engine through an electric motor to the front wheels via a six-speed automatic transmission, a conventional automatic. There's no CVT here, and that delivers a ride that most consumers are used to. The lithium polymer battery pack has been improved by 13%. And the regenerative braking system has also been optimized by 10%. Even the six-speed automatic is more efficient. The hybrid system is almost seamless, something that couldn't be said about the first version. The EV mode is broader, meaning it can drive at low speeds and coast in EV mode even at higher speeds, well over 100 kilometers an hour. What hasn't been improved is the ultralight steering feel and vague feedback. Some drivers might like this, but take note if you're on a test drive. This 2016 has some driver aids that let you know if you're driving normally, economically, or aggressively. I seem to be in the normal to economic camp, returning 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers. The official rating is 6 liters in the city and 5.2 on the highway, so I'm very close to the posted numbers. Now that 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers that I'm able to achieve in this car is driving it in the eco mode. There's driver settings here, normal, sport, and eco, and driving with a very light touch, or light for me anyway, and I'm getting not as good as the registered numbers, but pretty close. Now, if I was to drive it more the way I would like to drive it, those numbers would tumble quite quickly, which brings up the point. If you're going to buy and spend the money on a car like this, an alternative to this car is not just a Toyota hybrid, it's also a diesel. So hybrid's one way to go around it, but diesel's another. This new 2016 Sonata Hybrid definitely is more efficient than the previous model. Better looks on the outside. Interior refinements are definitely welcome, especially the trunk is much more usable for a family. But as I mentioned off the top, Hybrid is usually synonymous with Toyota, and that's a battle all manufacturers face if they're putting out a hybrid product. This one, hopefully, will get some attention. The thing is, in real-world driving conditions, hybrids and diesels get about the same amount of efficiency. It's up to you whether you want to buy a regular gas, a hybrid, or a diesel. This hybrid, however, is much better looking. Remember, extended reviews of many of our segments are available online at drivingtelevision.com.